Hello boys and girls at home. I have a fun challenge for you to do today while I am teaching your classmates in person. First, I'll go over the supplies that you need. First, you need a piece of paper. This is a scrap piece of paper that I was going to recycle anyway, so I'm gonna use this one. And then you need a cup. It has to be either a paper cup, like this coffee cup I have, or a plastic cup. Um, what you're going to do with the piece of paper is crumble it up into a ball. That's all you need the paper for. Crumble it up into a ball. And the cup we're going to use for different challenges to catch it into the cup. Um, I'm going to explain every challenge to you. I'm going to give you some time to practice and then I'm going to put a timer up on the screen, screen like I usually do um, to see how many times you can catch it for each challenge. First, I'm gonna give you time to go find these supplies if you haven't already. So I'm gonna have you pause this video and make sure you have everything. If you already do have things, continue on with the video. I also want you to find a piece of paper to use as a scrap. Um, I'm adding this late to the video because I forgot to remind you about that. But for a scrap piece of paper, this is just for you to keep track of how many times you're able to do the challenge that I present to you. So you're going to see just on my piece of paper right here, I have written on the back of some notes I had. Um, all you have to do is do a number one and circle it, number two and circle it, and all the way down three, four, five, and six, because there are six parts of this challenge. So all I want you to do is keep this note kind of close by so that at the end of, at the end of a challenge, you can write down how many times you were able to do that rounds part of the challenge. Um, because then on the Google form that you'll fill out on the end, um, I'll ask you how many you were able to do in each round. Um, I don't want you to stress out about the Google form, but that's kind of the best way that I can see how you guys did in the activity. So just fill it out to the best that you can. If you can't fill it out, um, if you can't fill out every question, just send me an email and we'll work something out otherwise. Um, but grab that piece of paper. Just write one, two, three, four, five, six, and circle it kind of spaced out. Again, you can see on mine, I left some space in between each one um, so that you can write down how many you do for each challenge. Um, for the first challenge, what you are going to do is hold the cup in your weaker hand Hold the piece of paper in your stronger hand, and you're just going to toss it up and catch it, then dump it up. Toss it, catch it, dump it up. So I'm going to let you guys take some time right now to practice. Toss it, catch it, dump it out. Make sure you're following with your eyes. Going nice and gentle. Okay. Now that I've given you some time to practice that, I'm going to give you one minute. One minute timer is going to come up on the screen. I want you to count how many times you can toss it and catch it into the cup, tossing with your strong hand, catching with your weak hand. So before I even put that timer up, I want to make sure that you have a piece of paper nearby. I should have told you an extra piece of paper um, just to keep score on. So you could just put a number one and circle it for round one. And then at the end of the one minute timer, I want you to just write down how many times you were able to toss it and catch it for round one. So make sure you have that piece of paper. Again, push pause if you have to, to fill that out. Um, and then once you're ready, come back for the one minute timer. Here we go.
right, on to round two. Now you're going to switch hands. The rolled up piece of paper should be on your weak hand. The cup should be in your strong hand. So you're doing the same thing, but you're tossing with your weaker hand, catching with your strong hand. This might feel a little awkward because you're not used to tossing with your weaker hand. Most people at least aren't. So as you're tossing it, just make sure you're following with your eyes. I'll give you guys some practice time right now to just follow it, catch it with the cup. You can get into a little groove as you keep catching it. Okay. So just like before, I'm going to put the one minute timer up on the screen for this round on your piece of paper. Just put a number two and circle it for round two. And at the end of the one minute timer, write down how many times you were able to toss it up and catch it. So paper should be in your weak hand, cup should be in your strong hand, toss it up, catch it, ready, set, go. Okay, on to round three. For round three, I want you to think really hard about where a safe space would be to do this. I don't want you doing this if you're going to knock anything down at your house. I want you to make sure that you have space to do this so that you're not doing anything that might make a grown up at home unhappy with you or with me. But for this activity, I want you to find a blank space. So I actually just painted my walls and I have nothing on my walls, so I have a lot of blank space. So what you're going to do is find a blank part of a wall, okay? And you get to choose which hand you hold the cup in and which hand you're going to toss with. But what you're going to do is face the wall and you're going to toss a piece of paper and catch it. So as you just saw, I tossed it really hard and then I had to back up and react really quickly because the piece of paper bounced off really fast, okay? So you just wanna to toss it nice and gentle so that it rolls off so that you can catch it in the cup. So again, you get to choose which hand you hold the cup in, you get to choose which hand you um, toss the ball in. I'm gonna give you a few seconds right now to practice. So find how hard or how soft you should do it, depending on what wall you're using. And I dropped it. Going nice and easy. Even though it's a piece of paper, because you crumble, up and crumble it up into a wall, into a ball, you can see that it bounces pretty well. Mine just went under my chairs. So nice and gentle. I'm gonna put the one minute timer up on the screen. See how many times you can catch it in your cup, then come back, fill it out on your little piece of paper and get ready for the next challenge. But for right now, putting one minute up on the screen in three, two, one, go.
Okay, for round four, you're going to notice that I am on my knees on the floor. For this challenge, you're going to see how sometimes it might be a little bit harder to toss something and catch something without being able to move your feet. So you're going to see that if you have to reach further, you're really going to use your ab muscles a lot and your core a lot because you have to reach and stretch and you can't move your feet as you normally would if you were standing doing the same challenge. So for this one, for this round, I'm going to let you hold the cup in the hand of your choice, hold the, roll the piece of paper ball in the hand of your choice. You're going to stay on your knees for this round. So you're just gonna to toss it up and catch it, toss it up and catch it. This might be very easy for some of you, but not for all of you, because if you toss it too far over, you have to be able to, to catch it and reach really far. You can't even see it in my screen, but I had to reach really far and I could feel my core muscles moving and my core muscles really helping me stretch and keep my balance since I'm on my knees and I'm not on my feet. So you're just going to toss it up from your knees, see how many times you can toss it up and catch it. I'll give you a little bit of time to practice. You'll notice that the lower you toss it, instead of tossing it all the way up to the ceiling, the easier it might be because you can keep your eyes on it as you are trying to catch it with the cup. So I'm gonna put the one, time, one minute timer up from your knees, tossing in one hand, catching with the other, one minute timer up on the screen. Ready, set, go. Okay, everyone can get back on your feet. We're gonna be on our feet for this challenge. In this challenge, again, you're gonna be able to choose which hand you hold the paper ball in and which hand you hold the cup in. So for this challenge, what you are going to do is toss the ball under your leg up to catch it, okay? So that's why I'm letting you choose which one you wanna hold the cup in and the ball in because I want to give you the chance to feel comfortable when you do this activity. Um, so I'm going to give you a few seconds to practice this. You want to keep your balance on your opposite leg and you want to toss it up high enough so that you can watch it fall into your cup or come close to your cup. Do not get frustrated if you don't catch it every time. Just do your best at this and have fun. So again, toss it up and catch, toss it up and catch. The taller you are, the easier this might be. So for my younger and smaller students, this might be a little challenging, but again, I just want you to have fun with it. Toss it up and catch. Keep going. And I'm gonna put the one minute timer up on the screen. So you're gonna see how many times you could toss it up and catch it from going under your leg in one minute. Ready, go.
All right, I wanted to save the best for last for our last challenge. If you remember from the activity I had you do last week with the empty paper towel roll or the empty toilet paper roll or the um, small ball if you didn't have any of those at home, um, there was another item I told you to use and I can't, oh, an empty plastic water bottle. Can't remember things anymore. You're going to do something similar, but instead of catching it in your hand, you're obviously trying to catch it in the cup. So just as a reminder, because a few friends had some issues with that last week, and it's okay if you were confused, the palm of your hand, the bigger part of your hand right here, that's the hand you're going to use to strike the bottom of your cup. So when you strike it, you're gonna watch my piece of paper come up. Okay, so it's kind of like you're sending a rocket up in the air. So it's the palm of your hand, and you don't wanna hit it too hard, because even though it's a plastic or paper uh, cup that you're using, it could still hurt. So you just want to have your hand open, come down under your hip, just like you're doing an end of hand toss, strike it up and catch it. So you get to choose which hand you are striking with and you get to choose which hand you're holding the cup in. So you're just going back, up, catch, back, up, catch, back, up, catch. I'll give you some time right now to practice before we go forward with the timer. Just going nice and easy. Hit it enough so that the piece of paper goes flying up in the air. I think you guys will have fun with this. This is my favorite challenge to do for this activity because it's fun to see you launching the piece of paper up in the air. Okay, one minute timer. This is your last challenge. Make this the best one. Have fun with it. And make sure when you're done with this challenge that you come back into the Google Classroom and fill out the form as best as you can. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. Have a great one.